for most of us, paying taxes is an inevitable part of life. But for the wealthy and the well-connected, there is another option, one that could be costing this country billions, offshore havens. They're worth at least $20 trillion worldwide, a continent of cash hidden from prying eyes until now. A CBC Regia Canada investigation uncovered the details in a massive leak of inside information on the offshore industry. Documents on the secret dealings of tens of thousands of people, including hundreds of Canadians. The CBC's Frederick Zelak has the story. These tropical beaches attract thousands of tourists every year, but behind the palm trees are hidden billions of dollars in secret financial activity. These dealings at offshore tax havens like the Cook Islands have been concealed until now. Washington-based investigative journalist Gerard Rao received a package containing a mysterious hard drive. And I think, wow, like, what's this? It seems to crash every computer we use, you know, so they realize that the, the size of the data is, is, is huge. How huge? 2.5 million documents, 10 times more than the diplomatic cables published by WikiLeaks. And not just any documents, detailed confidential emails, accounts, and other offshore secrets of more than 100,000 wealthy people around the world over a 30-year period. Some documents show legal tax avoidance tactics, but others suggest activities that cross the line. International tax law experts say they've never seen anything like it. And so this is a real interesting development in this secret world. Finally it's illuminated, finally we get to see at least some of the dealings that are taking place. The names of more than 450 wealthy Canadians show up in the data, including high-profile Saskatchewan lawyer Tony Merchant and his wife, Liberal Senator Panna Merchant. In 1998, he created a secret trust in the Cook Islands using offshore service provider Trustnet. Tony Merchant sent $850,000 US to Trustnet, which then parked it in their account of a local bank. That original sum ended up in a secret offshore account in Bermuda. The merchants have not returned the numerous messages we left them since mid-February. This data release comes just days after the federal government announced the snitch line so people can report tax cheats. Experts say this may be a game changer in the efforts to track down hundreds of billions of dollars hidden in tax havens. Peter? Frederick Zalak here in Toronto tonight. Thanks, Frederick.